Morning guys, you join me in London this morning, capital city of England, uh, with this big turbo beastie right here. Uh, so we're actually just going to a bit of a talk through uh, about the car uh, with Jermaine, the owner, um, and he can talk us through what he's done to get it to this stage. Look at that, grinning like a Cheshire cat because he knows what he's got. Um, <laughs> So obviously I've done quite a bit of work on this over the time, but I'm not anything to do with its current setup at all. That's all been done by Badger Five, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, perfect, yeah. Basically, this is my second TT. My first TT, I had a silver one, yeah. which I owned for five years. Didn't do any real mods to it. Just kind of use it as a daily car, yeah. just to get about and whatnot. Um, then it started going a bit wrong, so I thought, okay, I like the TT. I want to get myself another one. Yeah. Bought this one. Uh, particularly like liked the Zino Red, so I went yeah. to the Zino Red. Just look beautiful. Um, cheers. <laughs> um, yeah, so, next car, I thought, okay, I'm going to do a few mods to this one. Um, started off with your basic stage two mods. Yeah. Uh, and whatnot. So you, you had um, you had a bit of a hybrid package last time I worked on it, didn't you? Yes, I did, yeah. yeah. So basically, I, um, after the stage two, I decided, okay, as you do, you want more power. I uh, went for rods. Um, well, sorry, I went to Badger 5. I uh, yeah. spoke to him about what to do. We decided on going with rods. Um, Upgraded exhaust valves and his hybrid turbo package, the AET yeah. uh, 380. But uh, yeah, that was my previous setup anyway. Um, I worked on that and it kind of evolved over time and got it eventually to 400 brake, which yeah. was a good figure for. So 400 brake on a KO4 based turbo, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. correct. Because yeah. so, that was three inch downpipe. Um, AET 380. Yeah. Um, well, okay, so at that time I fitted cams as well. I had cams, right, okay. uh, NA cams from uh, AGN, I think it was. Yeah. Um, I said the intercooler had, had been changed by that yeah. time. So was the SEM on there at that point as yes, well? Yeah. yeah, the SEM I actually bought when I was in stage two, funny enough. It yeah. was kind of, I wasn't too sure what I was doing, but it came up and I snapped it up. Yeah. I did. But you um, weren't running as big a throttle body either, no, like that, were no, you? No, I wasn't, no. This throttle body's only, it's, uh, uh, only just been fitted, so it's an 80mm throttle body now. Yeah. Previously, it was a standard 60mm throttle body. Yeah, so we've gone up from 60 to 80 yeah, on that side, yeah. Which yeah. is pretty much as big as you can fit on these yeah. uh, SEMs. Um, also, I forgot to touch on the water meth. I've got water meth on this, which I fitted when it was stage two. And yeah. That's because I was taking it, I took it to the ring, and I was really, really struggling with temperatures. Um, yeah. EGTs were about nine eighty, which is just far too high. Yeah. EGT yeah. protection was kicking in, um, and another thing I didn't have at the time was an oil cooler. Uh, oil temperature was getting to like yeah. one hundred and forty-three degrees. Which, yeah, that's yeah, just yeah, ridiculous, yeah. basically. Yeah. So uh, yeah, for my second trip there, I decided okay, I need to sort them two issues out quite urgently. Yeah. First, I started off as a single okay. port, which I started off with a two-two-five nozzle, yeah. just in the uh, map sensor pipe. Yeah. Um, I then upgraded it to a throttle, a dual nozzle setup. So I had one in the throttle body, and I kept the one in the map sensor pipe. Yeah. Inlet temperatures were just literally ice cold, so it was working really well. Um, and yeah, so okay, then after that, anyway, yeah, things progress again as they do. Yeah. I, I thought, okay, like, yeah, I've had hybrid for a year and a half now, I think it was. Um, really, really, really reliable package, no issues, yeah. driven daily, no problems at all. Um, so I thought, yeah, okay, I want to go for a bit more power. So, uh, yeah. So, decided, so what have you gone with? Uh, decided to go with a G25 uh, 660 now. Okay. Um, which is the main thing that we've changed. Um, obviously, with that, you get the tubular manifold, so I've got a now, got a yeah. uh, big... Which we, we can't really see no, that yeah. back here yeah, because uh, it's all hidden. It is. Just a bit of the down part there, <laughs> um, all hidden by this heat shielding, but we can just about make out the turbo there. There we go, we can see yeah, a bit go. of it there. <laughs> But they are a really small frame turbo still, considering um, the, the sort of power output that they, they do. Yeah. Um, so that's a three inch intake there. Yes. Going to step up to a four inch pipe in here, yeah. onto a stack, onto this filter. So yes. breathing wise, Six it's, and yeah, it can get loads of air in. Um, three inch down pipe, is three it? Three and a half inch. Three and a half, okay, yeah. Well, so, it's down into, yes. it tapers down, obviously, because it's not gonna go through the tunnel. It can, yeah. but it's just a lot of work. Yeah. Um, basically, yeah, tapers down to three inch before the tunnel. Yeah. And then, uh, it's three inch all the way through, and then obviously all custom hard piping. Yeah, all this Alex made all this at Badger Five. Yeah, uh, he literally made the whole all this pipe work. Done yeah, job of so it. we can we can all inspect Alex's weld in here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that, to me, I mean that's that's stacking dimes. That is that's yeah, he's, uh, he's that's beautiful. Job, mate, I can't knock him at all. Done a fantastic job. Yeah. See, if you look at this at the minute, you wouldn't even know that it's not a standard turbo back there. No, no. Uh, from this angle here. No, no. no. Um, it's pretty. Looks pretty yeah. smart at the moment. Uh, so, where do we find the power output at the minute then? Well, at the moment we're at five hundred and eight brake. Right, okay, cool. Is, um, 
with 372 pounds foot of torque. Yeah, when it was so. Well and loaded at Badger 5. And so, what, what's the issue with it at the minute? Well, that power has sort of played havoc with the gearbox now. And okay. It seems to have lost some of the teeth from uh, six gears, unfortunately. <laughs> Which is the reason that we've not actually started it up to sort of show any, uh, you know, any engine noise, exhaust noise, or anything like that at the minute. Because, uh, yeah, it's, it's literally. Um, killed the gearbox and we don't want to send any bad vibrations back through the engine at the minute there's a lot of work in this engine so don't have run the risk of that so that's why I'm here today I'm going to be fitting a new gearbox um, we, we're going to crack on with that while the weather's still reasonably sort okay. of re <laughs> reasonably <laughs> okay it's not raining which is uh, which is a good sign and then um, yeah if we're done in time later we're going to take it out for a quick spin um, just get some on the road action uh, and talk a little bit more about the engine management side of things the Ignitron uh, but yeah so we're going to fit the gearbox uh, maybe get a couple of snaps of the, the turbo while the box is off as well because we'll get a good angle to see yeah. bits like that um, and yeah so hopefully get, get a bit of uh, on the road footage as well uh, right, we'll see you in a bit. So if you have a look in here, look, you can see the uh, turbo a little bit better and the manifold set up there. So that's all coated, isn't it, in yeah. um, ceramic coated. Ceramic coated. Yeah. Massive wastegate. Big old wastegate there. Yeah. Five, six, sixty. Thank you. See that? Oh, yeah. yeah. There we go. <laughs> Right, so we're an hour in. The subframe's over there. Most of the underside's off and out of the way now. So we've just got to undo the last few bolts of the gearbox, take the starter off, uh, undo the prop, and we can pull the whole thing out. Here we go. Gearbox off. There we are. 12 minutes or 12. That's the result. It was a bit of a faff because uh, I'm going to crawl underneath and show you some bits that are different on this. So because we've got the external wastegate, there's a separate branch of downpipe comes from there and then feeds back into the main uh, downpipe there, which means that the movement available on the prop is somewhat restricted compared to usual. Uh, so we've had to work around that. Um, but yeah, so we're happy that the clutch is still all right. This is a, a sash uh, four puck. Um, so, clutch is good, dual mass is still fine, got no excessive uh, movement. I mean, I changed this, oh, I don't know, less than a year ago, <laughs> and then it needed to change it again because the slave grabs it. I mean, I've probably had this gearbox off three or four times myself, and then it's been off another time while it was with uh, the guys at Badger 5 for them doing the build. But yeah, so this gives us a different view of the turbo as well, which is nice. You can see all the fabrication work that's gone into making that fit in place. A really top work by the guys at Badger 5. I believe Alex is to, to blame for the bad bits and Bill's to blame for the good bits. I think that's the way it works. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get this back together. Here's the old box. Uh, so we can turn the shaft to back there and then it just locks up so it stops moving. It's just really... Uh, uh. That's just... knackered. So, uh, yeah, it's in. We can't start it up because we just need to jump start it, but... Look at that. Five hour, start to finish. Gearbox changed. Woohoo! I couldn't have done that by myself. Jermaine's been obviously helping out. Uh, he's, you know, <laughs> righty tighty, lefty loosey. Job. When I've told him to do it, he's done it, so that's good. <laughs> it meant we got the job done nice and quick. So, yeah, we're going to tidy everything away, tidy all the tools away, jump start it, and then we're going to go for a drive and see how she does. And there we go. Jumped. Give it a little rev. Listen to this turbo.
screen or anything like that, so it's just going to be a bit shaky, a bit, you know, very amateur. Uh, but yeah, we're up for a lap. Well, let me film you doing it. Right, so, so this Basically, is how we... Yeah. You, you pull the switch over, yeah. the button, and you'll see it flash. Yeah, and so that's just changed you into a low boost mode, yeah? Yeah. That's a uh, low boost mode. This is just going to be low boost. Yes, uh, 22 psi. Okay. Yeah, so that's Nothing's, nothing's sprung a leak. Nope. We've not broke anything. It's all good. It smells a bit hot, but that's all. But that has been, uh, yeah, a really, really good experience. Uh, thanks, Jermaine, for sharing well, sharing it with us. Um, I'm sure everyone on the channel is going to appreciate seeing this. Um, so, yeah. Guys, if you want to see more stuff like this, um, just let me know. And all I've got to do is factor into the time that I'm spending on a job and I can, you know, do this with other cars that I see that, that are worth doing. So just let me know in the comments below if that's what you want to see. Uh, but for now, until next time, see you later. Bye. <laughs>